Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. <laughs> you sound like, like a radio host. <laughs> All right, guys. Hi, welcome back. Um, Tiffany, you know her. We love her. Allie, I'm new here. Today, we are going to be talking about lips. One of my favorite things to do to myself is to get lip injections. We're going to be talking all about that. Everyone is doing it. It's the rage ever since Kylie Jenner disclosed that she got them. The 20 and 30 year old generation all of a sudden just went crazy. The medi spas, the plastic surgery centers all just started filling up. And then my age, we still have the phobia for a long time of the silicone lip augmentation that looked really unnatural. It just gave you a big swollen lip like you've been sucking on a vacuum for a long time. And I'm a new timer. I just got mine done for the first time and I'm actually super excited. So we're gonna be talking to someone that just got them done and then someone that has been getting them done for about three years now. Why we get them, healing time, how to prevent bruising, how to choose the right person, it's all of that good stuff. So if that is something that interests you, watch this video and our next video, we're actually going to be showing you the procedures. Yes, the procedures on getting your lips done two different ways. So watch for that video too. That'll be right after this one. So I know that you have always been kind of scared to get your lips done. You've always asked me about my lips mm -hmm. because I'm not scared to get my lips done. And I get Obviously. them done often, <laughs> yes. I do, I do. So why did you decide to get them? What was, what was the change of heart? So I had a change of heart with lip fillers when I started seeing all these beautifully shaped lips that were obviously not natural, but they looked so amazing. And I was putting on my lipstick and I'm almost 60. And as you get older, your lipstick starts feathering up and then you start buying products that are anti-feathering. But the whole thing is the lips start wrinkling here and it just starts moving all the way up and you just end up with Miss Wrinkle Mouth. And I was getting a lot of wrinkles here. One day I just woke up and said, hmm, if I fill my lips, Will that help with the wrinkles around my mouth? And guess what? It totally did. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the over-exaggerated look. My mother has made comments to me a few times that my lips look, lips look blown out. I mean, I get messages a lot on, on my Instagram of, oh my gosh, I love your lips. Who did you go to? I haven't had any real negative comments on my social media now people probably say things behind my back, but that's okay. Um, I even had someone this morning message me and say, every time I see your posts, you make me want to get lip injections. So that's, it, it goes, it's, you know. See, in person, I don't think your lips look as big as some of the posts that mm -hmm. you do, because some of the posts you do, they look a lot bigger. But I think in person, I personally like your lips. To me, they look like, I don't want to say an anime character, but they don't look like. very character, like yeah. a doll. My eyelashes, these are not <laughs> normal eyelashes. Like everything that I do is a little exaggerated. I mean, the clothes I wear, mm -hmm. that's what I go for. I feel like life is too short mm -hmm. to not do what you want to do and what makes you have some confidence and makes you feel good. And mm -hmm. that's how and I do it for you. Don't, don't do it for anyone else. Don't so, do it for Sarah down the street. Don't do it for Brad that's sleeping in the bed with you. Don't, don't do that. Do it for what makes yourself feel good. So when you get fillers, it's important to ask yourself, why am I doing these? Am I doing them for myself or someone else? Because if you're doing it for other people, no matter how many fillers you get, how many uh, tucks you get, you're not gonna be happy because you're doing it for someone else. And that's just the whole mentality of trying to be as beautiful as the girl on Instagram who's doing a lot of photo editing. Some people look so amazing on Instagram and you see them in person and you're like, oh, I was going for that. That's unachievable. It is unachievable. Unachievable. So just, be who you are and, and do it for you. I did this for me. My son laughed at me for an entire week and he said, mom, I can't even look at you. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the family members are what gets you because my mom does the same. 
She came inside with such disgust when I got my lips done the last time. But Are you talking about the mom? But it's what you're, you were saying and what Jessica has told you. When Even when I get my lips done, for that first week, I look oh, yeah. like a clown. Like, yeah. it is... And I think you posted a picture right after you got oh, them done. Oh, yeah. And it is... And, it, not, not embarrassing, but it is extreme. I remember thinking... Uh, here's a picture of her when she first got him done, and she posted on Instagram. When she first got him done, I saw a photo and I thought, oh, Allie, I've got to talk to Allie. I have to talk to her. That's, she's going <laughs> over the edge. And then you came in and I saw you and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, we're good. It's just that first two weeks, and especially with how much filler I have in my lips, those first two weeks are a little terrifying. Another thing, right after you get the fillers for the first week, it's normal to have like lumps in mm -hmm. your lips. Mm -hmm. And what did they say? I think it's about five days. Is it five days that you should start massaging them? Um, I'm so bad and don't do anything that they tell me to do. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Feel the lumps, uh, Jessica said, after a certain time, and I'll put that up here, you wanna start massaging, massaging the lips and that'll help to get the bumps out and you know like flow it into the proper channels that it was meant to go in. and you know what's nice about fillers nowadays in the last 10 15 years they've come out with the hyaluronic based fillers and if you decide you don't like them guess what they actually go away so how many syringes do you have in your lips if you don't mind me asking no so this is my first time to get my lips done and i had a full syringe put in my lips I think that is perfect for me. I want that border. I love that I put my lipstick on now. It doesn't bleed. Yes, it's the best. Like I always had full lips. You didn't. Which I can put a picture in the video. So I think I have six full syringes in my lips, but that is over a three year span. You just got your lips done more recently than I did. Mm -hmm. um, what did it feel like for you? I'm a big sissy baby with pain. I can handle a lot of different kinds of pains, but when it's with a needle or something in my face, I'm just over it before it's even done. So I was really nervous. It was just like a little tiny poke because they inject numbing in while they're doing the first couple pokes and then you'd get completely numbed. And then I didn't feel, pretty much I didn't feel much of anything. So maybe three little pokes and then I was good. That's something to consider. There is a little discomfort. Obviously it will never stop me from getting but it's, them. It's worth it. So let's talk about how not to bruise. So. If you do the injections from above, there is definitely more likelihood of bruising. If you do it from underneath, like my daughter did, she had no bruising. But from the underneath, I always notice that it does look more natural. And from above, you can get more of that exaggerated vermilion border. So it just depends on what you're after. So if you go from the top, you're gonna bruise. Bruising is definitely something that happens. I have found to not bruise, eating a lot of pineapple three days before. You can take bromelain pills as well, or if you like pineapple, you could just eat the pineapple. And taking Arnica a week before, it cuts down on the bruising so much. When I had fillers, I didn't bruise at all. When I did my lips, I forgot to do it, and I bruised terribly. Everyone's getting their lips done. Uh, people who said they never would, I said I would never, ever do it. So I, you used to tell me that all the time. I know, when I, come over I and feel show you my so lips. bad. No, don't feel bad. So it's many of my bad. friends, I said, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want you looking funny. And then I went and did it. So I, uh, a woman's prerogative is to change her mind. So apparently I'm using, I'm using that. So let us know your thoughts, how you like your lips. If you've had them done, we would love to hear. It's always nice to hear other women and men. If any of you guys have had your lips done, we'd love to hear about that. I just did the PDO threads. There'll be a video on that coming up. That was pretty amazing. I've done fillers in my temples and my jawline. That's what I've done so far. I do chemical peels, microneedling, but these are things that actually help with the structure of my face because I'm trying to anti-age gracefully. Yes. Now I probably will have my eyes done. You can do that while you're awake. Of course, my eyes are starting to flap down on my eyelids, so I will 
have that done not tomorrow, not next week, but that that Someday. is that's that's in the um, in the realm in the, of things in the realm that we want to do as we get older. Yes, want to get this sucked out. It's oh, something I've you always been the lipo suction. Yes, after watching that video, I have. Oh my god! It. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Only because when I. You know me, I take a lot of pictures, post a lot on and social media. And you see media. this I little... see it because I do like to do a oh. side profile and you can see it. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you really want to see the procedure, different techniques that are done, different ways to do your lips, there's a way to do them more naturally, a way to do them more with the vermilion border. Watch the next video right after this. And when choosing the person who you're going to have do your fillers, make sure that they're either referred or you see a lot of photos of their work. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Okay. You're supposed to change our clothes. Yes. Oh yeah.